Hello and welcome to Mr. Simplifies Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll start with what FMEA is, look at the types of FMEA and when it's conducted, then look at a step-by-step -step guide and finally an example to simplify it all. I've also provided a free FMEA template for you to download and use. FMEA, Failure Modes and Effect Analysis, is an approach used to analyze the root causes of potential failure to estimate the severity or impact of failure and gauge the effectiveness of prevention strategies. It is essentially a risk analysis tool. A key intended outcome of running it is to reduce or mitigate failures starting with those with the highest priority. The three main questions FMEA looks to answer are what could possibly go wrong in this process? How badly could it go wrong? How do we prevent it or mitigate the problem's cost? If you break open the term FMEA, failure mode stands for a way or a mode in which something might fail in the process and effects analysis stands for the consequences of those failures so that the problem can be avoided. Now let's look at when companies or teams typically run FMEA. FMEA can be used during the design phase to prevent failures in the product, project or process. Here it's called DFMEA or design FMEA. It can also be used during the process to improve the process and avoid further problems. Here, it's called PFMEA or Process FMEA. It's however best to run it at the early design stages so that any course correction will be cost effective to implement. FMEA can also be run after a QFD analysis to ensure that the customer expectations with the new product or process are fully met and any failures are preempted. Now, if you do want to understand what a QFD analysis is, there is a very useful tutorial in this channel. I would highly encourage you to check it out. Now, let's look into a simple blank FMEA template to begin with and look into how it's populated. As stated, you also have a downloadable template provided in the description. Now, if you want to use it, you'll firstly need to click to open it in Google Sheets Click on file and then download to download it on your local computer and then use your local copy. You'll have read access to the template to be able to download it but you'll not be able to edit the online master template itself. So please remember that. So download a local copy first and then use it as you please. The entire example that we're going to look at in this tutorial is also presented in the template. So if you found this template useful, please do like this video, comment about it to let me know and share it with your friends to support this channel. Now below is a simple blank template which can be used for FMEA. Let's look at the components used in it. We firstly outline the steps in the process in the first component. The next column, failure mode, outlines what could possibly go wrong during that particular step in the process. It's a note about the way the step in the process could fail, basically. Next, we outline the failure causes. One could use bullet points here for clarity. Next, we outline the effects or consequences of the failure. Now we get to the rated columns. Here, we note the likelihood of occurrence, of detection and severity. We'll go through ratings once again when we look at the steps we usually take to produce an FMEA. Once the three ratings are done, we multiply the three numbers we get to get a risk priority number, RPN. This gives us information on which steps to prioritize. And if there are multiple processes that one's running, one could look at the RPN totals for each process and see what can be prioritized. The next columns deal with the possible actions to reduce the occurrence of failure and 
who would take the responsibility to correct or mitigate the situation. Now let's look at the steps in the FMEA process and then we look at an actual example to see it all in play. The first and the most important step in the FMEA is to set up a multidisciplinary cross-functional team of people. The people in this team need to have knowledge of the process, product or service at one hand and also the customer requirements and expectations on the other hand. It is usual for this team to have representatives from design, quality, testing, sales and customer success. The success of the FMEA depends heavily on the team assembled. Almost every step of the process requires the relevant members of the team to brainstorm and come to a consensus. The rest of the steps in the process follow the order of the blank table we just outlined. So the steps, the failure modes, the severity, etc. are all outlined one after the other. And at each stage, we have consensus. If we take ratings as an example, the team will need to get to a consensus on if they use a 1 to 5 rating or a 1 to 10 rating and the usage of every score. So if it's a 1 to 5 rating, for instance, a score of 5 can be used to represent critical issues which can cause potential loss of life, major disruption or dissatisfaction or legal issues. And then a score of 4 can represent risk of injuries, significant disruptions and dissatisfactions and definite monetary losses. So you see these ratings should also be discussed and documented with the entire team. In terms of documentation, it's important to document the agreed ratings, the agreed RPN thresholds and also the relevant details of the project. You'll see this data documented in a separate sheet in the downloadable template that's been provided but remember, these ratings provided in the example and in the template are representative numbers. The actual numbers will need to be discussed by the project manager with all the relevant stakeholders. Now let's move on to the example to get it all clarified. For our example, let's assume that a relatively new bank is planning a software upgrade to their chain of ATMs. They want to run a FMEA to understand the potential failures that could result from the upgrade and prepare contingency plans. The steps outlined by the team are PIN authentication and cash dispensation. Now, normally you'd have more services in an ATM like a PIN change, unlock, balance, etc. But we're only looking at these two steps for simplicity in this example. The failure modes identified are in expected lines Next, we go on to the failure causes, with each failure mode having one or more potential causes outlined by the team. The failure effects range from dissatisfied customers to a loss to the bank. Now we move on to the important ratings outlined by the team. We essentially have chosen a rating scale of 1 to 5 here. Interestingly, if you check severity, the team has provided higher ratings to losses to the bank in comparison to customer dissatisfaction. To avoid this in the real world, one should ensure that the team selected is well balanced. Based on the ratings, we have RPNs and the RPNs are added to get a total RPN for the process. The RPNs are colored red, yellow or green based on the RPN thresholds finalized by the team. The total RPN value will help the team understand if this process should be prioritized over other processes which will have their own RPN totals. Finally, if you check the downloadable template provided, you'll see that it contains this example that we've just used, the RPN threshold used and the project details in a separate tab and also a blank FMEA for you to use. So I recommend that you make use of it, but once again, you'll have read access to the sheet so you'll have to download a copy and use your local copy. It's a simple example used to help you understand FMEA in action. Complex processes will need more detailed FMEA templates, which I'm sure you'll be able to design after this tutorial. So that's all we have in this tutorial. I thank you very much for visiting this tutorial. And before you go, I would like to request you to share the content in this channel 
and visit more videos in it if it's possible and if you have a little bit of time. The channel's growth has unfortunately slowed down over time as many of you must have observed, so please do try and play your part in keeping it alive and I'll see you in the next tutorial. And more importantly than anything, please do take care of your own self. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.